The paintings are made on the floor. After applying a flat ground, I choose a ready-made adhesive vinyl stencil, like a grenade or a dice. The stencil is stuck onto the painting and then I pour or paint over it. And then I wait for the paint to dry for a couple of days and remove the stencil. This process is repeated over and over again to develop the layers. I use household eggshell and gloss paints and floor varnish with coloured tints in. I never use brushes to create shapes. All the hard non-poured edges are made with the vinyl stencils or tape. We are embodied beings, and as a painter, I'm making an embodied painting in the physical world. One of the things that I'm trying to explore is the material relationship between the embodied physical painting and the disembodied representation of the digital computer screen. The images that I choose at the very beginning of the paintings are fairly explicit, but they get fractured or transformed by the repeated layering. The dice represents the gamble of making a painting, and the grenade is a weapon of war. Today we see images of risk and violence on television and the internet as a matter of course. Right now it seems to be a very fragmented and confused world that we live in. I also want to mimic a sense of violent explosion in the paintings because I want to explode painting. Painting's identity is an interesting crossroads and I try to reflect this through the painting's chaotic visual spaces. I'm not particularly interested in British abstraction, I never have been. I'm drawn to American abstract expressionism and the subsequent pop art movement. With abstraction, I'm excited by Morris Lewis's poured transparent veil paintings from the late 1950s and early 60s. In pop art, it's late 60s to late 70s Andy Warhol because he used the silkscreen printing technique to combat the idea of the original handmade painting. I'm not trying to repeat the historical values of abstraction or pop. I'm forcing a collision between them as a way to form another or third language, much in the same way a DJ will mix together seemingly incongruous samples of music to create a different, fresh and more complex sound from found sources. This clashing of values in the paintings means that different optical depths are combined to form multiple narratives, perspectives and viewpoints. Simultaneously, the attention is drawn back to the flatness of the surface evoking a heady mix of contrasting opaque and transparent planes.